Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about individual product tab settings. First, let's take a look at the individual product tabs. Okay, our favorite hoodie, product tabs tab, and here we have the list of applied product tabs. We can only activate and deactivate them. Now let's go to the main product tabs page. It is located in design, product tabs. Some tabs here are default, for example, description. Others are added by the add-ins, for example, attachments and reviews. Also, some of the tabs can contain blocks inside them. This type of a tab we are going to create. By the way, except activating and deactivating tabs, you can move them around, just drag and drop. You can edit them and add new tabs here. Let's create two tabs. First, brand history. Okay, create new block, HTML block, name. It doesn't really matter, HTML block, that's right. Content test, create. Done. And one more. Not with the text, but with the products. Products you might like. Select block, create new block, products. Products, settings. Mm, grid, okay. Show number of columns in the object list, three. Content, add product. Well, we are not going to add anything right now. I will add products later, specifically for the hoodie. Box settings done, done, create, create. Finally, now let's go to the local product tabs page. Oh, and I almost forgot, brand history, disabled. I'll explain later why I did that. Products, try for hoodie, product tabs, here we have our new tabs. Let's activate it, yes, for this hoodie only, block settings, content, not test, but for example, history of the Adidas brand, something like that. Save. So now this tab, brand history, is deactivated for all products except this hoodie. Now let's speak about products you might want. Block settings, content, add products. Mm, for example, we can suggest pants and uh, what else? Let's look for it at the apparel. Search. And we can suggest the t-shirt and one more hoodie here. Add products and clothes. Hey, no, 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 we are not done yet. I want this t-shirt and this pants. Okay, filling manually. You can also choose other types of the filling by newest products, recently viewed, most popular and others. Box settings, general, save. Now let's take a look at our hoodie. Okay, we have four tabs here. Description tab, features tab, brand history, history of Adidas brand, products you might like. These three products. Now let's go to some other page. For example, this hoodies page. We have no additional tabs here, only description and features. Here is why. The brand history is disabled for all products except the previous hoodie. And products you might like is filled only for previous hoodie too. So when we fill something here, uh, for example, let's go to the general product tabs page and add something there. Here we go. Products you might like. Okay, products. 
content and let's add something here for example not pants but uh, run sex add products and clothes save save done I hope let's go to the hoodies page let's refresh it yes the tab has appeared and we have run sex here if we go to some other products page for example Ransex page. We will have Ransex here too. Now this tab is applied to raw products. Except this hoodie. Here we have the unique selection of the products. By using individual product tabs, you can tailor the certain product pages according to your needs. So don't be shy to use this tool. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAD video tutorials.